I took off the grub. Whoa! I took off the grub. I put back on the lure, but I switched the lure color. Welcome back to another episode. It is a cold one. It is a super high tide today. It is a 6.6 .6 foot high tide today, which is in about an hour and a half. Hopefully, they'll be on the chew on the lure today. That's what we're gonna be throwing, the battle star. And we got three more battle stars to knock off. We have the redhead glow, the sexy smelt, and the cherry sardine anchovy or something but we have three battle stars left to knock off or what i challenge myself is to catch a fish on every single battle star that is out which there are 10 we got seven seven yeah seven knocked off and today i'm hoping to knock off another but it's cold it's really cold it i think when i got here it was high high 30s uh 40 degree weather and yeah it feels like it feels like winter especially here on the california central coast you know we're used to that 70 degree nice weather so, i don't know to me i feel like i'm in the ice age right now the water it's actually looking pretty good for it being you know a super like a king tide the waves way back there trying to find a good spot to start i think we might run for another maybe 20 minutes and then scan a little more and pick our spot. I'm bundled up by warm. You know, I got my beanie. I got the 8 Fans jacket that's keeping me warm. And I would like to thank 8 Fans for not only sending the jacket, but they also sent the waders with the boots. I'll give you guys, this is my, actually, this is my third trip with them. Uh, so I can give you guys as honest of a review as possible and comparing them to the booted waders that I ordered from Amazon that are like $40. So I'll give you a comparison of what I, you know, the differences for me uh, between the two at the end of this video. And I'll leave the link in the description for the jacket, the, the waders, the boots. And you know, if you wanted to go check them out, you know, the links will be in the description. So yeah, we're gonna get another little running, running session in. Uh, just, just to start out, it's definitely a lot tougher to run in these with the boots than the the booted waders. Uh, the booted waders uh, that from Amazon, they're they're lightweight. These boots right here, they got a little bit of weight to them. I can already tell you that there's a there's a difference in, uh, you know, from because because a lot of you guys know I run to my spots, and then not only running to my spots but in waders, it definitely tires you out some. But I had to stop a couple more times than usual with these boots. You know because they are you know a little heavier but they're comfortable there's a spot down there that is better for the lure right here it's just too i don't know if you can tell but the freaking waves are huge it's just too big they're too big for the, the lure right now some kelp in the or little bits of debris in the water I was snagging them on that earlier of course I'm still snagging on it but with the grub I will have this wave come and push it up a little more if it does yep there we go Actually, what is this? It's like a, oh, this is a rope. This is a rope from like a, a crab trap or something. A lobster trap. Oh, oh, oh. 
There's a fish. Yep. Whoa! The waves are pulling in! <laughs> Whoa, that was close. This is a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh, did it come off? Oh, oh. No? Oh, it's still there. Yeah, that's a nice one. Woo, that's a good solid. Solid like, oh no, never mind. that's tiny. That's an all right one. Woo! Whoa! What's up, buddy? Woo! Yeah, I took the lure off, threw on them, got them baits, and it's like a crawfish and motor oil color. That's a cool fish, not a big one. I took off the grub. Whoa! I took off the grub. I put back on the lure, but I switched the lure color. I was started off with the cherry anchovy, and now I'm using the sexy smell. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I just gotta make sure that these waves don't crash up on it. It feels like a perch. Feels like a perch. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. That is a big one! Let's go! Woo! The sexy smell. Wow, that's a good one. That is a good one. Woo! Look at that right there. Sexy smell. We're gonna measure this guy real quick just to get a little measurement. So the first fish, the first quality fish. That is, ooh, that's 14, that's 15. That's a 15 inch perch. Oh wait, no, no, I'm, I'm ready. 14. Yeah, that's a 14 inch perch. Yeah. Whoa, I almost got taken out though. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! That's a good fish. That's a good fish. <laughs> I almost got taken out by a wave. I had to turn around and start running. Woo! Woo! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! What is this? Alright. Alright. Oh snap, oh snap. Come on, waves, help me out. Oh, that's a perch. That's a perch. Good perch. Another one on the sexy smell. Yeah, baby. Number two on the sexy smell. is going to wrap it up for us today we caught three perch today our first perch was caught on the geo got them baits crawfish grub in a motor oil color you can find those at our local tackle shop been there caught that in the city of santa maria and our two biggest perch today our biggest of the day was 14 inches and that was caught on the Battlestar 115 this is the sexy smelt color and you know if you want to save 10 percent on all battlestar products at the cal ca surf 
you can use the promo code Mencera Outdoors and save 10%. That the links uh, the link will be in the description below, and you can also find those at hooktocook.shop along with all surf fishing needs. Uh, the hook to hook perch pouch, some Kalisa, some tactical clips that just got added uh, at hooktocook.shop. So you can either find you can either save 10% on using the promo code Mensara Outdoors at casurfishing.com or head over to hooktocook.shop. Both of those links will be in the description below. And if you want to check out this jacket, this is a really nice jacket. Tons of storage. The 8 Fans jacket right here. Tons of storage. Keeps me, kept me warm today. It was super cold today. It was uh, high 30s, uh, 40 degree weather. Uh, you know, I have a sweater under this too. Neoprene sleeves, no water got up in there. All the used surf fishing anglers, you know, when you get water up your sleeves, it soaks up. Uh, if you're wearing like a long sleeve, it soaks up and it just feels uncomfortable. But the jacket kept me warm today. And uh, like I said, tons of storage. Got a couple of lanyards that are, you know, connected and just tons of places to attach equipment pliers cutters whatever it may be big pocket storage for you know all your lures or whatever it may be and then also the eight fans waders my thoughts on the eight fans waders uh comparing them to the 35 40 dollar waders that i bought on amazon first thing that i noticed is how heavy my feet were the booted waders from Amazon, they're really lightweight. These boots right here, they're definitely a lot heavier than the boots that, uh, uh, than the booted waders. Um, and then throughout the day, I did feel some sand buildup that you get in, in the boots. So uh, there's that, uh, there's that difference between the two boots. You know, of course you're not gonna get no sand really in uh, booted waders because the boot is sealed to the wader material. But at the end of the day, with the booted waders, my feet do felt uncomfortable. My feet and these with the sock footed are definitely a lot comfortable. Usually at the end of the day or midday, I'll start to feel my feet start aching. Today, my feet, they're fine. They're, they're just heavy today. Um, so definitely, the eight fans jack, the, the eight fans waders are more, com uh, these, these are the sock footed ones, uh, which I've never had before. I've only used the booted ones, the $35, $40 Amazon ones. So it was uh, pretty neat to get to experience the booted compared to the, the sock footed. But for comfort, I would go with the sock fitted. But if I want to feel light on my feet, I would go with the booted waders. While being on the surf, walk in, miles and the booted waders my feet felt uncomfortable these they felt comfortable just with a little bit of it, more weight it's kind of a do you want comfort or do you want to feel light weight on your feet and then the waiter material it's real the material is really nice i believe they're double uh is it double insulated or something and there's the pocket right here to store uh you know your stuff that you want dry these they're the x back waders and they have like the 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 ones that i the my 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 booted waders they're just the two over the strap like this with this x back it I, I didn't feel no slippage on the side like like with my booted waders that the two straps that go over they tend to like slide off a little bit even when i tighten them as tight as possible it may be just because of my shoulders but with these X back, they stay pretty secure over like the center of my shoulder or like right here on the shoulder. So it, didn't, it doesn't slip at all. I highly recommend the jacket, especially if you're looking for a lot of storage. I could fit literally everything in my backpack that I'd use for surf fishing in my jacket. So I could have an empty, empty bag on my shoulder. Thank you all for watching and until next time, we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.